Starting June 1st, rental car companies are prohibited from offering vehicles to customers that are five years and older. Plus, in today's lifestyle segment, we'll tell you what men think is the sexiest quality in women. And we continue our discussion regarding sustainability within the aviation industry. 15 on 15 starts right now. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Yanta Liu. A new policy has been implemented concerning rental car companies. Starting June 1st, car rental companies are prohibited to offer vehicles to customers that are five years and older. On my old bear, the Minister of Transport has decided on a new policy to enhance the tourist's rental car experience. Starting June 1, 2014, all rental car companies are not allowed to offer customers the choice of any motors that was manufactured five years ago or older. Furthermore, rental car companies are prohibited from purchasing vehicles that has been declared total loss and then repairing them for rent. Minister Oderbear says this is unsafe. The ultimate goal of this new regulation is to improve the tourist overall experience on our island. In other local news, the director of Aruba Airport Authority, Peter Steinmetz, is resigning from his position. Peter Steinmetz is a familiar face in the public eye as he has dealt with all operations concerning Raina Beatrix Airport. Mr. Steinmetz is up for new challenges. Schiphol Group appointed Peter as the director of Aruba Airport Authority. It is expected for the group to appoint the next director of AAA as well. The Ministry of Tourism hopes in the near future that a local will take on the position as the director. There are three candidates in mind already. Work doesn't stop with the transition of a new director, though. Aruba looks forward to another successful partnership with Schiphol, as future plans for the facility entails a 30 million florin investment, which is financed with the help of Schiphol. Moving forward, Mavo students on the island who, after four years, wishes to continue to Havo, have difficulty achieving the required grades to graduate. A new summer program has been implemented, decided by the Ministry of Education. After four years of Mavo, there are students who wish to further their education at Colegio Arubano. However, the preparation work they completed at Mavo is at a different level. Therefore, many students fall behind once in Havo and do not achieve the required passing grades. Instead of raising the admission requirements for Colegio Arubano once again, the Ministry of Education gathered all stakeholders to decide on a preparatory summer program. Two weeks before school starts, those students in Mavo who graduated with a below 8 average will be obligated to take the two-week program. The Ministry of Education actually set up the commission to come to this decision of a two-week summer preparatory class. And on Friday night, local talents, Data Panic, organized a one-of-a-kind audio and visual concert. If you didn't go, take a look. Data Panic recently launched a new album. During the process of working on the album, a film crew captured every moment. The purpose of this was to reveal a documentary to go along with the new album. The band unveiled the documentary on Friday night at Casta Cultura. The band created a unique stage, various dimensions and dynamics were used for this audio-visual concert. Data Panic wanted to treat its fans to an extraordinary experience. From lighting, sounds and visuals, each element played a role in enhancing the audience's experience. Now don't go anywhere because coming up right after the break we'll reveal what a majority of men believe is the sexiest quality in women. Then we will give you four key tactics to remember people's names. And for women to hit on guys, does this come off as desperate or sexy? We have all those topics and more coming up right after the break, so stay with us.
Welcome back from the break. Women's Health magazine surveyed 8,000 men on what they think is a woman's sexiest quality. An interesting trend emerged. Men said the sexiest quality of a woman was her body, outranking her smile, eyes, personality, intelligence, and even sense of adventure. But get this, only 12% of women agree that their body is downright desirable. When we say sexy body, it doesn't mean it has to be victorious, secret model perfection. At least men in general don't agree. Men think women's sexiest quality is their body. But too bad the females typically don't see it. Poor self-image it is an issue, and it can affect every area of your life, including your career, confidence, your wardrobe choices, and even your romantic relationships. But remember, sexy body doesn't necessarily always mean lingerie model perfect like Victoria's Secret models. They can be normal and healthy. Now, in order for the women to agree with the men on the body aspect, the first thing ladies have to do is reduce the negative self-talk. Experts say this is the very first step. Now, there is nothing quite more embarrassing than not remembering someone's name that you've met before. So here are some tips to never forget a name again. First tip, repeat. When you first meet someone, immediately say their name out loud. Nice to meet you, Rudy. Then reinforce. Form a connection between the name and the person, such as short Rudy. But of course, don't say that one out loud. Tactic number three is to record. Rely on an external memory source. Either tell your BFF who is really good with names or make a note in your phone. Even if all else fails and you just can't remember someone's name, you can usually recall something about them, which will let them know you didn't forget them altogether. You can say something like, I'm so bad with names, but I know that we met at Sharon's birthday. Now, something interesting, ladies. Research finds that men love being approached by women. Check this out. According to a majority of men's health readers, a whopping 55% of men said that it is sexy, not desperate, when a woman aggressively pursues them. Experts say men just like women want to feel attractive and desirable. Relationship experts also adds that men are filled with the same insecurities as women are, so it is flattering when a woman pursues them. Okay, so here is how to do it right. When you spot a cute guy, make eye contact with him, then signal with a subtle hand gesture that he should come over as if you need to tell him something. Then start a conversation with him by asking him advice. For example, does he have any suggestions on a present for your dad for his birthday? And after a few minutes of flirting, seal the deal by saying, well, here is my number, give me a call. Of course, this is a perfect scenario, but so keep this in mind, the telltale signs of a guy not into you would be him giving you one word responses and distracted looks are dead giveaways. If you can sense that he's not interested, simply say, it's been great talking to you, but I just noticed a friend I haven't seen in ages and make your exit. And on that note, we will be right back. Take a look to see what is coming up next. Aruba may be attempting to do its part to reduce its carbon footprint but without the world stepping in and doing the same, the impact could be relatively small. One of the main areas that needs to be transitioned into a green operation is the aviation industry. It is much easier said than done though. Changing an industry that has been operating in the same manner for 95 years won't be easy, but it has to be done in order to move towards sustainability. During a roundtable discussion regarding sustainability within the aviation industry, an expert in the field revealed facts regarding climate change to put things into perspective as to how dire the global situation is. We already know that without this climate change, we have reduced biodiversity on Earth, on average, with 30% in the past 40 years, 60% in the tropics according to the Living Planet Index that's calculated by the Zoological Society of London. That's in one lifetime. That is something you cannot continue to do because you are actually affecting the life support systems that underlie <coughs> our economies, our lives, our works, our family lives, our happiness and our future. Power players in the aviation industry are aware the methods they use to conduct business needs to be changed. It won't be easy, reason being the aviation industry has been operating in this manner for close to a century.
that we have to reinvent the way we do business. We have to reinvent the way that NGOs look upon corporates and corporates look upon NGOs. And WWF wants to be part of the solution. So we take hard choices, it's complex and it's difficult. But it's also fun. Why is it fun? Nothing is given. You almost have to reinvent aviation after 95 years. Nothing is given, nothing is simple. Globally speaking, the success of the world becoming sustainable relies heavily on the aviation industry. 12% of the world's land surface is now a protected area. We need it to grow to 17 to 20% if we want to make real progress towards our uh, final goal, that's to stop the degradation of biodiversity on Earth. If we also want to feed 9 billion people, land change, land, and especially land change towards agriculture, is a huge, huge challenge. So if we add on that the challenge of, uh, of the biofuel demand, that could, be, that could mean considerable trouble, and it should be. So it's clear, in order for the world to become sustainable, the aviation industry must adapt and transition to greener ways. The will is there, but stakeholders admit this is a great challenge in front of them. That is it for us today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back here with all the latest tomorrow night, so be sure to tune in to a new edition of 15 on 15. We will see you then.